Hello, good morning friends. Welcome back to your favorite channel Code One Digest. Today in this tutorial, I'll teach you what is locations in Shopify store, how to manage inventories in Shopify store, how to export and import inventory for these locations in Shopify store. So we are going to learn what is locations in Shopify store. So stay tuned and watch this tutorial till end. It is going to be very, very informative and very, very exciting video today. Okay friends, so here is the agenda of this tutorial. I'll explain you what is location in Shopify store. Then I'll show you how to add locations into Shopify store. What is inventory template? How to manage inventory? How to manage location inventories in Shopify store? Then we'll also see how can we export and import inventories into Shopify locations, right? So after this tutorial, you will be clear about Shopify locations, how to use it and what is the purpose of having locations in Shopify store. So stay tuned and watch this tutorial till end. Okay friends, so let's understand first what is location in Shopify store. A location is any physical place or an app where you do any of the following activities like product sale, shipping or fulfilling the orders or managing the stock inventories. Right friends? So location can be anything where you manage your inventories, where you ship and fulfill your orders or you sell products. So it can be your warehouse, it can be your physical store or it can be a custom app of your warehouse which is sending you the inventory updates right all this can be treated as a location in your shopify store and you can manage the inventory for all these locations in shopify admin console we can see the inventory of each and every product for a given location right so you understood what is location location can be a physical store or a app for a warehouse where we are able to manage the inventory for that warehouse. So you can select the location and see the inventory status. I'll show you that during the demo. You can set up multiple location in your Shopify store so that you can track the inventory and fulfill the order at your location. Your location can be a retail store, warehouse, pop-ups, dropshippers, or any other place where you manage or stock the inventory. The maximum number of locations that we can have depends on your Shopify plan. But by default, we get 1000 location. Right friends? So concept of location is where you sell the product or you ship the product or you manage the inventories. Okay friends, so now let me show you the locations in Shopify store in admin console and where to manage the inventories. The very first thing you have to do is to log in into Shopify admin console of your store and follow me, right? Click on the products. Then you would see a inventory link over there. Click on inventory. Then you will see a product inventories is available in front of you. But in the top, you will see the inventory source is Delhi warehouse. So this is nothing but a location for me. Here you see a drop down. Drop down will have a all possible locations that you have in this Shopify admin console. So in the Shopify admin console, I am managing four different locations. If you see here, right? I am managing Delhi warehouse, my custom location, Snow City warehouse, and Saikon Kashida warehouse. These are nothing but a location, and every location has a different inventory, and so on. Right. So you can see the inventories are managed for each and every individual store. Now what I'll show you is to how to add these locations and how to manage the inventory for individual locations. Right friends. So imagine a scenario you create an online store in Shopify to sell your products and then you have a warehouse where the inventory is lying, which is the source of your inventory. You have order management system, you have warehouse management system where inventories are managed. So that inventory, you want to see here, what is the status of that inventory? So 
you have to add a location for that warehouse and you start managing the inventory for that location here along with the warehouse inventory you may also have a multiple physical stores where you are selling products along with your online stores so those retail store inventory also you can manage here you may be getting the retail inventory feeds that you can manage it here and see the inventory status of those individual stores as a location in Shopify so it can be very useful in certain features like ship from a store so that if warehouse doesn't have this product you can think of shipping the product from this particular store then here is a store to the customer so having the inventory status of all this location can help you in designing your solution accordingly right shopify by default supports thousand locations that means you can have thousand different locations where your inventory is lying it can be your warehouse it can be a retail stores and so on so all these thousand location is the inventory source for your online store right friends so without wasting any more time let me show you how can you add a location in shopify admin console to add a location in shopify admin console click on settings in your left bottom corner and then you will see a location link in a left side menu click on that location right so here you see all the locations that is available to you right now what i'll do is i'll add additional location by clicking the add location button now i will give location name bangalore warehouse country is india address is koramangala ab tower that's it if you want you can give pin code and mobile number and say save right so now this location is added but you won't be having any inventory for it let's see the locations now so bangalore warehouse is added here you can directly go and click on the view inventory but it will not have any inventory right because we have not added any inventory for this location yet now the question comes how can we manage the inventories what is the easiest way to manage the inventories or import and export inventory for newly added location right friends so you can select the any other location to see the inventory for all the products and click on export so that you are downloading this location and then we'll import this inventory for a given location to export the inventory you have to select certain options select all quantity types export all variants and select the format i am selecting csv for excel now when you say export it will create a export link and send it to your store email id right check the email you will have a link to download that inventory file so you can see i have received this email just now and there is a link to download the file now i am saving this now the file is downloaded let me go to that location where the file is now next step is to import the inventory we'll modify this file to import the inventory for our bangalore warehouse okay friends so this is the file that we have downloaded just click on that it will open it's a csv file it will open in excel so you can see the data so the file that we have downloaded is having all the location you see so what we can do is instead of exporting for all the locations let export only for saikon kasida and then we'll modify it for the bangalore warehouse right friends okay friends to export the inventory by default all locations selected that means in your export you will get the inventory for all the location we want to download now just the inventory of let's say delhi warehouse right i'll select the same option all quantity all variants and this format let export it yes so email would have come to my id again the email has arrived this is the 
export let's download that file it is downloaded let me go to download folder so this is the file let me open this file and see now this file will have the inventory only for one location and this is what we want so you can see the item is there and location has only single location inventory here so we have now we have to modify this file as per the bangalore warehouse assuming i am having all this product in bangalore warehouse as well and then i'll just modify the location update the inventory update the quantity and upload it or you can also create this file from the scratch following this template so these are the columns it has now you start adding the products that is available in your warehouse what i'll do is i have to give a name here bangalore warehouse this is my bangalore warehouse name i'll just copy and update the location name to bangalore warehouse for all and if you want you can update the inventory 100 100 right so now this file is ready and you can do the modification as per your requirement right friends close that file and now we will be importing a inventory okay now we'll be importing the inventory for bangalore warehouse location friends before we proceed in this video i request you to subscribe this channel to grow code one digest family friends i am creating a lot of quality videos on programming coding concepts design pattern and design principles cloud and container technologies but i'm not getting subscribers i request you to like share and subscribe this channel so that i can grow a code one digest family thank you okay friends so now it's time for us to import the inventory for bangalore warehouse location you can also create the inventory manually here but that will be too much of manual work for anybody to create inventory individually so always the best option is to import it via csv file so select your location here from inventory so i have selected bangalore warehouse and then click on import it will ask you for a file you can click on add file and then select a file that you have updated right so this is the file that i have updated the location as bangalore warehouse say open click upload it will give me some stats so it is saying that you will be importing 29 variants that will override the inventory quantities at one location because it is only for bangalore using single file you can also import the inventory for multiple locations as well so here it is saying one location that is our bangalore location now click start import so it is importing the data and all the variants just refresh right so now you see we have all the variants and their inventory available for us because we have imported the file successfully right friends so this is so easy and convenient in shopify to export import the inventory manage the inventory now you can also modify that directly here so you can either manage it manually or it will get managed by a warehouse app which is updating the inventory via Shopify API, Shopify admin API. Right friends, so what we learned in this tutorial is we understood what is location. A location can be a warehouse inventory or your physical store where you are selling product you are fulfilling the orders or you are managing the stock that is your location right you can have maximum thousand locations in shopify admin console to manage you can manage their inventories you can export the inventories you can import the inventories you can manually update the inventories or you can get the inventory update through a shopify custom apps for a given warehouse right friends so i hope the concept of location is now clear to you and if you like this video so give it a thumbs up and if you are new to the channel so do subscribe to my channel to grow code one digest family thank you friends 
I have also created lots of videos on Shopify on adding language support, adding stuff to Shopify, adding multiple languages, payment methods, how to manage order IDs, theme app extension, custom app development, and so on. So there are a lot of useful tutorials available. So go and watch all this video. It is going to be very, very useful and very exciting tutorials for you. I have also created a complete playlist for Shopify tutorials where you will find all these videos in one single playlist. You can go and watch all these tutorials as per your need. It is going to be very, very helpful and very, very informative tutorials for you. So go and watch this video now. Friends, if you like this video, so give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for the more interesting videos. Click on the bell icon for the latest video notifications and do not forget to share this video with all your friends and colleagues. This is very useful information for students, beginners and software engineers. I am putting a lot of efforts in creating this contents. So please help me growing the Code One Digest family. Please subscribe to Code One Digest channel for the latest programming and technology related videos. Thank you.